All right, let's get to our first question here. I believe this one is from Mathiri. Uh, again, apologies if I uh, mix up any of the names. I'll try my best here. Um, but yeah, Mathiri, thank you so much for your question here. So yours is, uh, how do you craft experiences in your community that keep members coming back? So yeah, fantastic first question to kick things off. We all know kind of when members join communities or as this community grows, there's always kind of this like hype and excitement. When people first join, everything's new and fresh. But then kind of over time, we think of, okay, well, how do we like create a space such that folks can still come back given like the context of their situation, like what's going on in their life um, and still be able to like engage with the community on a regular basis. Um, my approach to this, uh, I kind of think of like two, two kind of thoughts in general from my own experience with community um, and then also running a couple of communities as well too. The first one is keeping a familiar format, but still adding elements of surprise or delight as you go through. So example of this is potentially like, you know, you have a community, maybe you host like regular events and you have like a Zoom webinar or like a Zoom call or something like that. Yes, the format's very familiar. People don't have to like download new technology or set up new technology just to join your call. And that makes it easier for people to engage, lowers the friction. But then on the call itself, um, is there kind of some sort of like extra little novelty. Maybe again, you have like some welcome music. There's like a tune of the week and people just like tune in and they they know they're gonna be getting something new, maybe something new for their playlists. Um, so that's an example of like things I've used in the past to kind of balance that. Um, the other element is is probably uh, a wider topic and trickier to, to delve into, but um, I'll probably be referencing this a lot through all the questions. Uh, but Sherith has recommended the David Spinks' book, Business of Belonging. I'm sure a lot of people have read this here. Um, really, that element of belonging um, is something to always keep in mind to have people keep coming back. And that could just be as simple as like following up. Um, we have things like channels like gratitude channels or like small wins channels. And whenever somebody posts in there, of course, like we want to react immediately, you know, cheer them on, even if they're struggling with something, still kind of respond to that. And then just kind of like follow up like a week, a couple of weeks later and just say, hey, like, I know you were dealing with this a couple of weeks ago. Um, is this still the case? Can I help you with anything? You could you know, kind of just like meet them where they're at and then also make them feel heard and that uh, that like you care about like what has been going on in their life. Um, I think those kinds of things. And then as your community scales, embedding that into your values and your culture and getting other people to check in. Um, other community members to to catch up with people, um, follow up with people. That's a really good thing to bring that sense of belonging. And that helps community members keep coming back.